welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. I'm joined now by Pam Evans with the Family Services and Guidance Center. How are you doing today, Pam? I'm doing well. Thanks for um, having me. I'm doing great, too. Good. I'm excited to Good. have you on here. It's, uh, it's hump day, so we're getting through the rest of the week, right? Indeed. All right. So first off here, I just want to talk a little bit about the newly revamped parent education effort. So it was formerly known as the Real World Parenting Series that you guys had once a month, but now it's called Ask a Child Therapist. So tell yeah. me a little bit about why you guys changed the name and, and what we can expect from the, uh, the new change in the revamping. Yeah. So we really wanted to focus this year on answering more parent and caregiver questions. Mm -hmm. We realize how difficult it is to be a parent, to be a caregiver, um, and just really want to focus more on questions. So we're asking anyone, um, you know, who has a question about the topic of the month, that's not changing. Um, like, for example, this month is anger management. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if parents or caregivers are uh, struggling with their kiddos, being angry, you know, just having outbursts. This is the time. Send in those questions. And we'll answer those questions in a couple different ways. We're continuing some uh, to produce some short videos where our staff clinicians uh, will answer those questions, some of those questions. Via Zoom or via, is so, this posting it on, online to the yeah, website? Yeah, we're okay. posting it on the website and Facebook. Okay. So if you're not a friend yet of uh, <laughs> FSGC and have a kiddo, you may want to check that out. Mm -hmm. But we're also posting those on the website. But we are continuing those uh, monthly Q&As. It's Great. an hour via Zoom, uh, Zoom webinar, and that's coming up next Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, we no longer have to, we're no longer asking folks to pre-register either. Wonderful. So it makes it a little more convenient. Go out to the, the uh, Facebook page or our website and get the link and just join us next Thursday at 6.30. So there's really no kind of pre-thought or pre-work that people have to put in. They just exactly. log on to Facebook, click on that link, and they are in the Zoom session. Exactly. Perfect. Exactly. Okay. We do encourage folks to send us their questions early. That helps, you know, on the prep side. But hey, yeah, you know, things, things happen and we just, in, just encourage folks to join us for that Zoom. So if last minute, say I join a Zoom and I have a question that pops into my head that I didn't get to ask you guys beforehand, am I still able to ask that question? Most definitely. Great. Yep, okay. we have that hour set aside just for parents and caregivers. And there will be a different topic each month. Um, this month happens to, to be anger management, which we know, you know, kids don't know how to express their emotions. And a lot of times, unfortunately, that comes out in anger. So we can help with that. And is that why specifically you guys decided to go with anger management this month for, for the issue? We see a lot of parents who have tried a variety of different approaches, but things just don't work. And they've, you know, they share that with us. We know that's a common thing um, with kids because their brain's still developing. So very common, but um, our goal with, with the Ask a Child Therapist um, series is to help parents provide the support on those things that are, are challenging every day. And I know you're asking parents to really get in those questions about anger management as soon as they possibly can. Is that so you guys can prepare responses curated really to towards them before the series happens next Thursday? Yes, that that is uh, the main reason. And the secondary reason is to, you know, the the weekly videos that we produce, it's super helpful to have those questions. So maybe we can get your question answered a little sooner than uh, waiting for that monthly monthly Zoom. All right, and I also want to kind of switch gears here okay. now a little bit and ask about the progress in the construction of the Youth Crisis and Recovery Center. So I know for the past couple months, we've kind of done some check-ins with you all on how that's going. So I just wanted to uh, ask for a quick update on yeah. if you guys have any latest for us on that building. Absolutely. So this building, just as a quick refresher, uh, this building will house um, our crisis services as well as uh, substance use treatment uh, for youth in the area. We broke ground in March, and you just saw a photo of uh, the current uh, state. The building is coming along great. It looks We're, wonderful. Yes, yes. They are working their tails off. We are looking for the building. Um, contractors are saying probably September. Um, 
opening likely would would be October. It's going to take us a little while to get all the furniture in and everything ready to go uh, for the, the youth in the community. Uh, but we are super excited uh, about the, uh, you know, about the new facility and, and the tools it, that will allow us to expand crisis services and, and on the substance use side as well. Most definitely. And all the joy and the good it will bring to the community. Right, Pam? Absolutely. And, you know, it's, it, it will bring hope to the families. Mm -hmm who just need some extra help for the kids who need it most, who have the, the most severe um, mental health challenges in, in, their, in our community. And unfortunately, um, those needs aren't going away. Uh, in fact, they are increasing. So we, it can't get open soon enough. <laughs> yeah, you're 100% right. Yeah. And we look forward to it opening, right? Yes.